Well, I have a lot of stories and uh, the stories from the Bible told have brought a lot of stories for me to tell now. And um, one is about a girl named Sneha and uh, she lived in Uti up in the hills and I've been to this school for consecutive 17 long years. And I had interaction with this girl for four years and uh, she comes from a good, rich, educated family and unfortunately she was an atheist. And our meetings every year have been a great test for her and uh, every year there would be an argument and discussion and I want to be very true that each and every time I I've, I've got defeated I didn't have answers but I prayed for the soul very silently and the last year of the school I thought she would come and develop a relationship with that with me but unfortunately again I was defeated in the argument and in the last day I just called her and said Sneha why don't you have this New Testament and read this without a biased nature? She got the New Testament and he said, and she said, you give it with biased nature and you ask me to read it without any bias. I don't think it is right. Well, again, I re returned back defeated, but um, the miraculous, after five years, down in a plane, uh, in a city where I attend church, one fine day I see this girl going out of the church and I ran to her and asked Snega, what is common between you and the church? You are an atheist, why are you found here? And she said, Uncle, I have been searching for you all these meetings and the last gift you gave me helped me to understand that Jesus Christ is the true living God and I found the Lord Jesus in the foot of the cross and I am a Christian now. That was her response. Well, God has been very kind enough to scripture in India where people have a lot of stories like that. And we are, we are thrilled about that.